I play for Nebraska because I want to win a national championship for this team and for this program. I play for Nebraska for the tradition, the fans, my teammates, and the expectation to be great every day. I play for Nebraska because of the fans and the tradition here at the Coliseum. I play for Nebraska because this is my home. And this is where I want to bring a national championship. I play for Nebraska because it's a great program and for all the fans out there. I play for Nebraska because I want to be great and I want to be a part of something great. I play for Nebraska because of the teamwork and dedication that the team brings to the court. I play for Nebraska because this is my home and this is my passion. I play for Nebraska to win a national championship. I play for Nebraska because I love the rich tradition of hard work, success, and dedication, and I want to be a part of that. I play for Nebraska because I love the competitiveness here, the fans are amazing, and I want to be a part of this family. I play for Nebraska because I believe that we're unlike any other program in the country this year and expect us to win that national championship. I play for Nebraska because there's no place like it. In my eyes, Nebraska is the best volleyball program in the country, and who wouldn't want to play for that? I play for Nebraska because I'm a warrior. A lot of people in this world search endlessly for some complex, magical formula to understand why some people are successful and others are not. It really just boils down to the concept of productivity that you can apply the most amount of effort to the best of your ability in the time that you have. All successful people realize that time is the most precious commodity out there. It is the one thing that you can't buy or ever buy back. Successful people realize that they have a limited time to perform a task, so they have to give their absolute all to doing that task. Because going through the motions is the most disadvantageous thing you can do. Often, when you do something wrong the first time, you have to go back and do it right the second time. Whereas if you do it right the first time, you never have to do it again. All successful people realize this. They have to give their absolute all, heart and soul, to every task, no matter how small or large it is, that they're going to be the best possible person they can be when they're doing it. They're going to do it right. Successful people do every task right, while unsuccessful people do it wrong. You can look at professional athletes, Olympic athletes, the best in their sport. A lot of people disregard it, saying they have good genetics, steroids, or that they cheated. But the fact is, they gave their heart, their soul, throughout every single rep, throughout every single set, throughout every single gym session, every single day, for weeks, for months, for years, for decades, to get where they are. They weren't going to go through the motions. They were going to go to break through all mental barriers to get to where they wanted to be. That's the difference from those who are successful to others who are not. A lot of people think that what they do in life is beneficial. Then they get frustrated when they don't see the results other people are getting. You can say to yourself, oh, I went to the gym today, so I'm better off because of it. But the question you have to ask yourself is, what did I do in the gym today? What did you do in the gym today and how did you do it? You can't complain that you can't build up your muscles or abs or burn fat or build muscle or it's your genetics to keep you from getting there. It's not about genetics. It's about effort and doing the activity right. This transfers to all aspects of life. Working on schoolwork, a business proposal at your job, even the small things in life like doing dishes or cleaning the house. Because if you can't clean the house right, how are you expected to run a Fortune 500 company right? But all successful people understand that. They're going to give it their all through every single task they have to do. Because time is so precious. They're going to do it right. So I hope you understand this concept of productivity. Ask yourself, what are you going to do today? But more importantly, how are you going to do it?